a massive fire engulfs a storage warehouse belonging to El Cas Channel. The UN is set to set up a center for combating cybercrime right here in Doha. Hotel occupancy rates sink in Qatar. Stick around for more. And finally, Nasser Al Khalifi hits back at reports of his involvement in the Man United takeover saga. Hi, it's Ali. This is the roundup. Here are today's top stories. A massive fire that broke out in the Malrikh area over the weekend struck a warehouse belonging to the El Kas Sports Channel. The blaze at the Qatari-based channel storage is likely to have caused millions of rials worth of damage to equipment. Today, firefighters quickly mobilized to battle the fire as plumes of black smoke filled the air on the weekend. In a statement, the Interior Ministry confirmed no one was harmed in the incident. Now, the United Nations has confirmed plans to establish a regional center for combating cybercrime in Doha. The move was announced following the signing of an agreement between in Qatar in the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. The center is expected to begin operations within the next two months. Specialists stationed at the center will monitor cybercrime activity across the Middle East and Africa region. This is a major step in a growing relationship between Qatar and the UN, which recently set up a UN house in the Gulf state. Bad news for the hospitality sector in Qatar as hotel occupancies in the Gulf state have hit its lowest point in the last four years. Qatar Tourism released data showing that hotel occupancy in April 2023 was average at 52%, whereas the same month was averaging at 70% in 2019. However, hosting the FIFA World Cup did bring in record profits for Qatar in the last year. And finally, Paris Saint-Germain's head honcho Nasser Al Khalifi has hit back at recent reports of a meeting between himself, potential Man United buyer Sheikh Jassim, and the Glazer family. The report stated that the Glazer family wanted Al Khalifi to convince Sheikh Jassim to raise his bid by the legendary English Premier League side. However, Al Khalifi has hit back at the rumors, stating that PSG is his club and in his heart and that he has nothing to do with Manchester United. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.